Hey, welcome back to Postal Barbecue. I'm Javen Postal, and today at the grill, we're making a delicious homemade cranberry sauce for your next feast, and it's absolutely incredible. And so, just like always, I'm gonna put all the show notes as well as the full recipe in the description box below. So make sure to click down there to see everything that you need for this recipe. Also, if you like what we're doing on this channel, consider subscribing for more great barbecue recipes, tutorials, and reviews. Now than that, let's get into the cook. As I said, welcome back to Postal Barbecue. I appreciate you being here. Uh, today at The Grill, we're making the most amazing homemade uh, cranberry sauce. It's gonna be a huge hit at your next turkey feast. And you know, this is one of those dishes that you wanna make a little bit extra of uh, because it always will uh, run out on you because it's just so good. And so there's not much you need for this recipe. Uh, we have some uh, cranberries, we have uh, some apples, some brown sugar, uh, some orange juice, and then some butter. And I'll make sure to put all the uh, amounts in the description box below as well as a link to the full recipe for you to print off for yourself. And so to get started, what we're gonna do is uh, dice up our apples. And we have about four gala apples that we're gonna be using. And so I'm gonna dice these up uh, fairly chunky. Okay, so with our apples cut, let's go ahead and throw them into our uh, casserole dish. There we go. And then we're gonna throw in the most important uh, ingredient of this cranberry sauce, uh, the cranberries. And I'm using fresh cranberries today. And we got three cups. We're just gonna throw those in. Just mix these together. Next, I'm gonna add in a half a cup of brown sugar, and the sugar is uh, up to you. You can add as much or as little of uh, the sugar as you like, depending on how uh, tart you want your uh, cranberry sauce. And then I'm gonna throw in uh, about a half a cup, or just under, of orange juice. Place that on there as well. And then I have, lastly, about three tablespoons of butter. I'm gonna just place that on top. Then we'll mix all this together. All right, this looks all nice and incorporated together. And so what I'm gonna be doing today is I'm gonna be cooking this on the Camp Chef pellet grill to add a little bit of smoke into the flavor of this cranberry sauce. And that smokiness will add just a little bit of extra dimension uh, and flavor to the cranberry sauce and it is absolutely incredible. And so I'm gonna be placing this on the top rack, again, cooking around at 300 degrees. I do have a turkey also cooking in here, so you can do it uh, both together. And so let's go ahead and get this onto the grill. We'll place that into the top corner. Then I'm gonna close up that lid and we're gonna begin cooking this around that 300 degree mark for anywhere between 45 minutes to 60 minutes until those apples become good and soft. And we'll come back uh, a couple times partway through to give it a stir. Our cranberry sauce has been cooking for just over 25 minutes now. And so it's now at this point, we wanna pull it out of the grill and just stir it together again, just to incorporate all the juices that have come out of the apples and the cranberries and blend it all together. And so let's go ahead and grab our cranberry sauce. You know, this cranberry sauce hasn't been on for very long and the smell is already so good. You can see that it's a lot more liquidy uh, now than it was when we first put it in. And like I said, this is the juices coming out of that fruit. And we just wanna fold those around. Oh, this smells so good already. All right, so let's get this back on the grill quickly. And then we'll come back in another 20 minutes to give it another stir. So another 25 minutes has now gone by since we last stirred that cranberry sauce. So I'm gonna pull it out and we're gonna give it another stir. Now just look at this, oh wow. Okay, we'll get this stirred back up. This is looking pretty good, but I know it's not done. And so one of the things you can do to test to see if your cranberry sauce is done is to taste one of the apples. And what we're looking for is that it's incredibly soft as well as that it's starting to absorb some of the, the juices and the flavor of the cranberry sauce. Mmm, -hmm. man, that's good stuff. 
And so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna place this back into the grill for probably another uh, 10 to 15 minutes. Uh, the apples are soft enough, but we want them just to absorb a little bit more of that uh, cranberry flavor, as well as reduce down some of that liquid a little bit and allow it to thicken up with some of those sugars. And so let's get it back onto the grill. There we go, they're gonna close up that lid and we'll come back in about 15 minutes. It's been about 12 minutes now since I last stirred our cranberry sauce. And so I'm gonna pull it out of the grill and just make sure that it's all done. Guys, just look at this. It smells so good back here. You can see that those apples have absorbed a little bit more of that cranberry sauce and the sauce down below has thickened up a little bit more. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let this cool down to about a room temperature and as it cools, that sauce will begin to thicken up a little bit more. And then at that point, we'll come back and get ready for the taste test. So after only about one hour, this homemade smoked cranberry sauce is all done and it smells phenomenal. Uh, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna test it two different ways. I'm gonna test it straight up and then we'll put it on some smoked turkey and give it a taste that way as well. All right, let's grab this bite here and just notice how much uh, that sauce is thickened up as it's cooled down a little bit. It just smells great. And so let's go for the taste test. Mmm. -hmm. That's good stuff. You know, one of the things that I really love about this cranberry sauce is the fact that it's not too sugary. Oftentimes, uh, you need to compensate for the tartness with sugar, and that's where the apples really come in and begin to shine. You get that little bit of sweetness while keeping that tartness that we all know and love, especially when it comes time to turkey. And so let's cut into this turkey breast and uh, go for a taste with that. Scoop a little bit of this onto this turkey breast. All right, here we go. Mmm, mmm, mmm. That is so good. You know, for me, uh, turkey and cranberry sauce are the two essentials that uh, I'm looking for when it comes to a great holiday feast. And so make sure to give this uh, cranberry recipe a try because I know that you're gonna love it. This homemade cranberry sauce is gonna be a huge hit at your next feast. It's sweet, it's tart, it's all things delicious. And so make sure to hit that subscribe button as well as that notification bell if you wanna see more barbecue videos just like this one. Also special thank you to all my patrons out there who help support this channel every single week. Until next time, keep that fire lit and get cooking.